Hey guys, it's Agustin Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more videos. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on Unity 3D. I want to start focusing on creating a nav mesh and also working on some artificial intelligence. So today I'm going to keep it very simple. We're going to start creating a nav mesh, looking at how to create an agent, how we can code it, and how we can have the agent go from a source to a target to basically reach to our goal. So let's jump into Unity and I start looking at it. All right, guys, so let me show you how we can build a navigation mesh in Unity so that we can have basically AI agents that can reach different destinations. And this can apply for games, this can apply for you know anything that we want to use AI for. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you the scene that I created so far, which is very bare bones. It's called Navigation Mesh Part 1, Unity 3D Pathfinding Essentials. And just keep in mind that I'm gonna be putting this in GitHub. So if you go into my GitHub page, go into Delmer V, it's going to basically show in here, just like every other repository shows. And I was also looking at the documentation so that I can give you a better, basically a better video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into Unity and then we're gonna start setting up everything that we need. So the first thing that I want to set up is I want to set up the area where we're gonna have the AI. So I'm going to first create an empty. And this one is gonna be all the geometry that we're gonna have for the for the place where we're gonna be moving to. So we're gonna have walls, we're gonna have floors, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the 3D objects that Unity provides to create our scene. So I think I'm gonna do about 10, let's go ahead and do a 10, about 20. 20 on X and then on Z we can also do 20. I'm going to do it about 0.2 on Y for the, for the height. So I think we're gonna start with something something like this. And then, so this one is gonna be our floor. So it's gonna be the floor. And then I'm also going to be creating materials as we as we go, because I want to make it look a little bit better than what it looks right now. So it's gonna be materials. And we're gonna have a floor material and also a wall, walls material. So I'm just gonna go here and then create a floor material. And then it's gonna clone it. And then also let's do wall. Okay, for a floor, I'm just gonna assign that, and then I haven't created any walls, so I'll just go ahead and right click in here, 3D, and I'll just do basically another cube, make sure that it's inside the geometry. And this doesn't need to be inside the geometry, I just wanna keep things organized for you guys. And then we'll just create a couple of walls in here. So for the walls, I think I'm just gonna do, we can just do something like this, it doesn't need to be perfect. And then I'll just put, I'll just put one right there, and let me make sure. I'm also holding my V, so if you hold V, you can actually snap to a vertice. So you can see how I'm snapping to that vertices. And I think that it's good. Let me just make it a little bit smaller. And we can do, so there's our wall right there. Very simple. And then we can do, so I'm gonna basically start, we can just start, let me see where the camera is. And then we can also arrange the camera. I'm also going to position the camera so we can see everything in the game view and align it. Let's go ahead and go. I'm looking at my camera preview. Okay, so I think that looks good. Awesome. All right, so now let's go back into making our kind of our, our level. And then I'm going to, let's go ahead and make this bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna have the, I wanna have the, the what's called the nav mesh agent I start here. And then he's going to be rescuing a princess. So we're going to be, we're just gonna have him work, right? We don't want it to be that easy that he can just get there right away. So I'm just going to I'm just do something like that. Or I can just snap it as well to here and then we can just offset it. Something like that. Let's go ahead and change this to local and then pivot. Okay, so I think, I think that's good. And then I'll just do a couple more walls on the way. So he's gonna be working hard together. Do the same thing here. I'm going to be selecting this and holding my V key. And then, so what I'm gonna do is I want to change the, let's go ahead and change the, the size of this. Let me make sure that I am on the proper option here. There we go. Okay, and then we go back in here and then I'm going to go back. So I don't want, it, I don't want all of the walls to, to just look the same. 
So instead we can just add some variety. Something like that works. And then I'll just clone this one and clone this one and possibly clone this one so we can add a wall on the on this side and I'll go to the inspector here. Let's go ahead and do 90 degrees. And for this one, I'm just going to grab this vertice right here. And actually this turned out to be cool. Turned out to work fine. Let me go ahead and move it back a little bit. There we go. Something like that works. And maybe this one, I'll just make it smaller and then let's get it against the wall. There we go. So the edging is gonna go around here, around here. And we can just keep it simple like that. It doesn't need to be that complex. And we can probably just align this one with this one. Just make it, maybe make it thinner. There we go. And then I'll just add a couple of more of these walls along the way. And maybe another one right here. Just m more of a aesthetics type of eye than anything else, because it, it doesn't matter really. I just want a lot of things to reflect uh, the nav mesh. Okay, so we have walls. Let me go ahead and rename these ones. This is gonna be called wall. We have colliders. We should have colliders so that the navigation agent knows what to collide with. And the last thing that I wanna do is for the level design, let's go ahead and make sure that this is assigned to the floor. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the walls. Assign the wall material to that, the wall material to every single one of them. And see, I think I have four more. Three, two, and one. And let me just make sure that all of them get the material. It's gonna collapse the mesh render. And then let's go back. Oh, this one has the default. We don't want the default there. Go back here. And I think, okay, so I think we're good. So now for the colors that I want to use, uh, it doesn't really matter what I what we're gonna be using. I just want to, I just like things to look good. So we can just say, so what I'm what I'm looking what I'm noticing right now. Let me look at the yeah the color. Okay, there we go. The color that this is reflecting is different because of the light. Okay, so I think. Let me go back into my camera view and what I get when I get a better angle. And I'm also going to modify the shadows. Let me go back more How about there. There we go. And then I want to modify the shadows because the shadows are too strong. Let me go ahead and look in here. And I'm going to look at the game view. And the shadows shouldn't be that strong. Okay, so I think I'm good there. And then if we go into our camera. Okay, so we can go darker. Okay, excellent. So I think we're good there. So, so now what I want to do is I want to do the same thing with the walls. Let me go ahead and look at how they look here. And we can just do dark walls. Excellent and perfect. And then let's go back into our light. I think the shadows are just just way too strong. Okay, there we go. And I think I'm I think I'm happy. Let's go ahead and angle it a little bit more. Right about that. Okay, so I think I'm happy with the with the geometry that we have. We're gonna start right here. The Aging is going to go around and it's going to go around and find the shorter path. And then we're going to put the princess right about there. Okay, so now what I need to do is I'm going to create a new game object. I'm actually going to do two. One is going to be for the hero. And then the other one is going to be for the for the actual princess. So it's going to be hero. And then let me make sure that my hero is on its place. And for some reason it created a really weird sphere. <laughs> Look at that. And I think it was because it was size based on the parent. So what I'm going to do is just do one, one, and one. There we go. So we should be okay now. And then I'm going to go ahead and get close. And we can just get closer to right there. And I'm just thinking, let me make me, let me make me bigger. Let's make me about two, two, two. And I'm saying me because I'm the hero, right? <laughs> and I think, yeah, let me make him a little bit smaller. How about 1.5 and then we'll call it we'll call the size good okay so this is 1.5 I want to make sure that I'm not colliding with the basically not intersecting the floor it doesn't really matter I think it's fine just make sure you don't go all the way down then the other thing that I want to do on this material 
Well, this one is specifically, I don't have a material for the hero, so we're just going to create one. This one is going to be hero, we'll clone it, and this one is going to be the princess. Excellent. Or we can just keep it generic, and this is going to be player, just in case for future. It's going to be the goal, right? The player, and this is going to be the goal that we need to obtain. So I'm going to assign the player to hero. I mean, rename this to be player. And then we need to add one for the what I call the princess, but it's really the goal. And I'm just going to call it goal. And this one's going to be assigned to that. OK, now let's look at the materials. The smoothness on this, let's see. I don't know that I really want a specular highlights. So let me, and this one is the player. OK, and I think that's good. And then I'll do the same thing for the goal. I don't think I want those two selected. It looks like I, I did them the opposite way. This one is, that's why the material wasn't changing. This is the player and the goal. And we'll just put, uh, I guess it didn't matter because they were close to each other. So the goal is going to be right about here. And this is going to be the princess. We'll make the princess a little bit smaller so that it looks different. And we'll just put her right over here. And then we'll also change the color. So maybe we'll do this to maybe a blue or we'll just do that type of color. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think that comes out. And then for the the player, which is which has the raw material, now that I'm looking at it. So this one has the gold material. Let me go ahead and fix that. So player is gonna be assigned to player. And it looks like that was the raw material, and then goal is going to be assigned to goal. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the color of the player. And let's just make the player be maybe red. Maybe right about there. I think that's good. And then for the goal, we'll make this one look, doesn't really matter what it is, to be honest. I think that it's fine. Okay, excellent. And we have, okay, so we have everything that we need. I'm just gonna move this one down, or floor, and then our walls. All right, so now, now we need to concentrate on the navigation. And if you don't see this panel, you can go into Window, and then AI, click on Navigation. And it's going to show you what I'm looking at right here, which is basically where we handle AI in Unity. This is where you create the navigation mesh, where you bake, you basically bake your geometry so that the agents know what it can be walk on or, or basically how to traverse the different obstacles that we put on the way. And then also areas and then also the information about our agents. So we're only going to be looking at the basically the objects and also we're creating a we're going to be creating a script to tell our agent where to go. Okay, so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be selecting everything except the player and the goal to be the navigation static. So I'm going to make him navigation static. We're also going to make it, so we're not going to make everything walkable. We just select it. What I'm going to do is the floor needs to be walkable, but the walls are not going to be walkable. So I'm going to select them all and I'm going to say not walkable. And now what I need to do is I'm going to select them again, go into here, into bake, and then click on bake. And now you can see that we can see our, our nap mesh. You can also uncheck it and check it if you want to look at it. So he knows that these are walls, you know, these are walls and anything in blue is basically where the character can go and can traverse. We can also add some ramps if we want the character to jump, but I'm going to show you that on the next video. And then also some stairs if you want to add a stairs into your game. All right, so I think we're good there. And let's say that I wanted to make a change. If you wanted to make a change, you can make the, this one a little bit smaller and let's say that I wanted to move it. So this is not updating in real time and we need to basically rebake everything if you wanted to update it. And you can see that if I move it and do bake, that navigation mesh gets updated. So make sure that you click on, on bake. You can also change some of these settings, but like I said, I'm not gonna look at those settings right now. I think I'm gonna keep it very basic. And then if we go into game, we can see. So I think what I want to do is the it's really hard to see the, the goal, so let me go ahead and change the camera angle. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. Maybe right there. And then if we go here, there we go. So now that's much easier to see. Okay, so I'm, I'm very picky when it comes to design, so I want it to also look really good. All right, so I think, I think we're good. So now what I need to do is, right now if I hit play, nothing is gonna happen because the agent doesn't know that it's an agent. All it is is just a game object. 
So if we want to make him an agent, this is what we need to do. So we're done with this. I'm just going to put it on the site, and we're going to concentrate on the player. So the player needs to know that it's an agent, and to do that, we need to add what's called a navigation mesh agent. Let me say that again, navigation, nav mesh agent. I can't really say the word mesh for some reason, maybe because I'm Latino and I have a hard time doing that in saying that. So we're going to add that component. We're not going to change any settings, and I'm also going to be creating a script. So I'm going to right click on the assets and then folder. And then this is going to be scripts. And then in here, we're going to create a new script. So this script is going to be the custom agent. Or we can call it player agent, however you want to call it. We're going to say player agent. I think it's, it's more, more correct. And what I'm going to do is to go to assets and open my C-sharp project. Make sure everything opens up. And then I think I'm good. And the last thing that I need to do here is I also need to make sure that I associate the player agent with the player. And let's go ahead and open it up again. And I don't need the I don't need the update method, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I also don't need these comments. So we need to tell it where to get to. So we're gonna get the transform of the goal. And I also need to expose this, so I'm gonna make it serializable. Oops, let me go ahead and do serializable field. And then the last thing that I need to do is I need to bring in a new uh, a namespace. I was gonna say a new space. You're gonna say, what are you talking about, Dilmer? <laughs> okay, and this is gonna be AI, right? And what we're gonna do is gonna say var. I don't really like vars, but I think I need to start using them. And I get a lot of questions about why don't you like vars, and don't get me into that. <laughs> I just really don't like them, but I think I think they're useful in some cases. Okay, so destination, and it's gonna be goal that position. So we're getting the nav mesh agent, which is a script that is associated to this component, and then also we're setting the destination of the player agent, and then telling it where it needs to go. Now we can just remove these namespaces that we don't use. And that's basically everything. Let's go ahead and go back into Unity and make sure that everything compiles. And we can see this running. So we can go ahead and just bring in the game view here. Let me go ahead and snap the inspector there so we can fit everything and so that we can see everything happening. And then I'm going to click on, there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and hit play and make sure that, oh, one thing that I forgot to do we need to go into the player and we need to tell it what the goal is going to be because that's where he needs to get to. He needs to go through here and then reach basically the destination. So I'm going to hit play. And then if everything works, you're going to see that the navigation agent is smart enough to go through the walls. You can see that he's going through and he's finding the shortest path. So he didn't go this way. He got this way because it's closer to get to or basically our goal right there and we got to our goal. So what if you wanted to do some other things and you wanted to modify just like I showed you before? So we're gonna go into navigation here. And let's say that you wanted to add more obstacles because you think this is too easy. We can do go ahead and clone this one. And maybe here we'll just make another wall. And we can do I said that I wasn't gonna do this, but let's go ahead and do this just for just for fun. Let's go ahead and add a platform that he's gonna have to jump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, when he gets to this area, he's not going to fit through these edges, through these two areas, but I want him to jump. So what you can do is, is you can select this object right here, and this is not going to be a wall anymore. It's going to be, we can just call it a platform. And then what I'm going to do as well, just to, just basically so that you know this is a different component, I'm actually going to just clone, let's go ahead and clone the wall, and this is going to be a platform, right? And then I'm going to assign the platform to that platform, go into the inspector, and then we can just say that the platform is going to be of a different color. We can just add maybe a yellow color or something like that. Let me see. I think that works. And let me just go ahead and align it here. And then what we need to do, we need to go into the navigation and we're going to go into object and we're going to say that this is, a, this is of type jump. So you can see that we selected as type jump and then we're going to rebake everything. And you can see that Unity is smart enough to know that the the mesh, the nav mesh, needs to have a jump. It creates this, this kind of really cool platform that it goes up and then so the character knows that it needs to jump. The other thing that I'm going to do as well, we're going to go here into Agent and you can change the radius, the height, and let me actually go into the player itself. And I wanted to change the speed. So right now it's at 3.5. Let's go ahead and do 5 so that we go faster. And then I'm going to click play and let's see what happens now. So the speed is incremented. Now we're going much faster. 
and you can see it goes around. It's gonna find the platform and hopefully he's gonna jump. It looks like a jump. And then it's going around, going around, and then we got into to our destination. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys today. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video on NAF mesh building and also agent building with AI. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so by just clicking on the button below. And also make sure that you check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.